right, today I'm a happy girl because I get to review some yarn and um, I'm a knitter. I knitted, I've learned how to knit a while ago and I love it and I get to review yarn, yay! So before I started knitting with this, I wanted to show it to you how it arrived, all that good stuff. Um, these are actually from two different Amazon listings. One is, um, most of them are from one listing, one is from another listing, so I'm just going to show them all together so you can see them. Um, so this is how they arrived. And got the end to this bag. I'm just gonna dump these out and throw this bag on the floor so my cat doesn't come up. Well, nice little surprise. These came with some um, double point needles. They say 13, which obviously they're not. I'll get a measurement on the written review. I'll put them. They gotta be like a one, a one or a two double point needle. And then these also came with um, circular needles, and I'm not quite sure what this is, but I think it's a thing so that my my yarn doesn't get twisted if I'm mixing colors. But onto the yarn. Um, this is a cashmere blend yarn, super soft, and right there is the yarn information. Um, I'm not really sure how much is in this. <laughs> It doesn't really tell you. Um, and it also says on here that it is a semi-worsted yarn, but the listing says that it's a lace yarn. Um, so I can't tell you for sure, but it looks like lace yarn to me. That's pretty thin. You can see it there. I mean, a worsted weight is at least four or five times size bigger than this. But anyway, beautiful colors, nice little skeins of yarn here. So I have this green. I have a bright green. I love this color. I have sort of an olive green. I must have been on a green kick when I ordered these. There's this orangey red color. Um, sort of sapphire blue. These are so soft. Uh, purple. Beautiful purple. And then a gray. I'm still kind of debating on what I'm going to make with these. I'm thinking a cowl. But I will go ahead and start knitting up something and show you the finish, or at least the in-progress product, because it could take me a little while to knit with these since it is such a um, fine yarn. But for now, here you can see them. The nice little added free needles that I have yet to determine the size on. And um, that's it. So I'll be back with something knitted. Okay, I'm back and I have finished my first project with this yarn and I have some of the yarn left. Now I have to admit that I um, did not measure the knitting needles that came with this set and they ended up with all my other knitting needles so I don't even know what size they were. If I happen to come across them and realize those are the ones I will add it to the written review but for now they, it came with some knitting needles. So here we go. Um, a couple of things. I went ahead and did a little swatch to show gauge. This is with a size, I believe I was using size 8 needle. So you can see that. Knitted up pretty nicely. And then these were done with size 3 needle, the scarf was. And um, as you can see, hopefully you can see, pretty long scarf. It, it's really nice. Um, this is how much yarn was left after doing this section. How much yarn was left after doing those sections. And I can't show you the blue. There was a lot of blue left and then my cat got a hold of it. So now it just looks like blue yarn barf. So um, let's just say there's, there's some blue left. <laughs> but uh, I did this lace work. I don't do a lot of lace work because I have kids and you have to pay attention. But since this is lace weight yarn, decided to do a little bit of lace. You can see how nicely it knits. It lays very nicely. It's a super soft yarn. Very, very soft. It will slide off your needle easily um, because it is so soft. So be aware of that. And then you can see right here, I combined two colors. This is where I switched colors, but I did it intentionally to sort of gradually feed them in. And I really like the look of adding the two colors together. And then once you do add the two colors together, it does create the same weight as a worsted weight yarn. So if you want this sort of look, 
you can see it, it looks kind of cool. Um, and there's another, towards the bottom here, did it too. You could always get two skeins and then use them together. So, that being said, very, very pretty yarn. Really nice, vibrant colors, especially this. Look at that, look how pretty that is. Um, nice, vibrant colors. There's some, you know, this is obviously a duller color, but it's still got a lot of pigment in it. Soft yarn, easy to work with. Um, does slip a little bit, but that's because it is so soft and such a smooth yarn. And um, you get a pretty decent amount in the skein, too. I mean, there's quite a bit here. There's enough to make at least a, one or two more of these. But I think that's it. I really like it. I really enjoyed working with it. Oh, one thing. I almost forgot. Um, I wasn't originally going to do a scarf. I was going to do a shawl. And when I went to knit in the round, um, I had a problem with the blue breaking. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't do a lot of lace work. And I don't use a lot of lace weight yarn, usually. I have done a couple things with them. And I've knitted in the round before. So I don't know if I just got a bad skein and that's why I, it kept breaking. Or if it was just... I was being too hard on it, but I, when I did switch to straight needles, I was fine. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will try my best to help you out. But for now, there's my finished scarf. My super, super soft, lightweight, snuggle up scarf. I hope this was helpful.